the animal is an enigma. It is the largest marsupial carnivore that ever lived. This enigmatic animal, Thylacoleo carnifex, the marsupial line, it's intrigued paleontologists for well over a hundred years. The first specimen was found at Lake Kalongulak in Victoria and was sent to Sir Richard Owen, the famous British anatomist. He described it as the fellest of predatory beasts and he gave it this name Thylaco Leo, marsupial lion, Carnifex, the killer. Its name uh, derives from the cat-like nature of the skull. Thylacis in Greek is a pouch, and Leo for lion, so the pouch lion. And Carnifex is a Latin name for to kill. So this is the pouched lion that kills. The marsupial lion is found in fossil deposits of megafauna. These are the large extinct marsupials that disappeared 50 to 40,000 years ago. What is intriguing is that it is not armed with the large stabbing canine teeth that one normally associates with predators. The canine teeth that are used in predators like cats for holding, capturing, killing their prey in the marsupial lion are just little vestigial stumps. Its anterior dentition, however, is well developed into a condition that one finds in marsupial herbivores. This animal would be certainly capable of climbing in trees. We have speculated whether Thylacoleo occupies a leopard-like niche, hauling its prey into trees out of the reach of the ground scavengers and predators and it was really with the discovery of the front limbs of this animal, and particularly the hand, with the huge slashing claw on the thumb, that people started to understand how this animal may have captured and held its prey. This animal is a paradox, the largest marsupial carnivore, but one that has adapted from an ancestry of herbivorous animals. Hence, the enigma.